Hey friends, if you recently watched my response video to how Emmanuel Cleaver ended his congressional prayer by saying amen and a woman, you should have noticed something else that was wrong with that conclusion of his prayer. And it's who he prayed in the name of. He said we ask these things in Brahma, the creator God. And I noticed it, and many of you noticed it because you pointed out in the comments of that video, but I wanted to do this video justice. So I want to spend a little bit more time getting my thoughts together before releasing this video because the other one had a much quicker turnaround, mainly because I wanted to find a good reason to use Are You Serious Clark in a video. If you haven't seen it, go check that video out and then come back here. This one is going to be super important. In case you didn't see the Emmanuel Cleaver clip, I'm going to play it for you so that way you have a good understanding of what I'm talking about. So watch what he says right now. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names by many different faiths. A man and a woman. Now the important thing to note is that this man was a pastor of the United Methodist Church from 1972 to 2009. And as a United Methodist, I grew up United Methodist. It's where I spent the majority of my younger years going to church with my family. Grew up United Methodist. And this man is confused, at the very least, because even as someone who attended a United Methodist Church, I know that we don't pray to Brahma, considering Brahma is a Hindu god and not the Christian god. Now, I'll give him some grace, because... God has tons of names, and you could get confused. For example, he goes by Yahweh, he goes by Adonai, he goes by El Shaddai, he goes by Jehovah Ra, he goes by Jehovah Nisi, he goes by Elohim, he goes by Jesus Christ. These are the names that he could have used. There's a long list that he could have picked from. However, he chose a Hindu god, probably because, and again, I don't know the man's heart, but if you're praying in Brahma's name, you're probably not a Christian. Whether you act like it, look like it, dress like it, have the title of it, you pray to someone other than Jesus, you're not a Christian. And the reason for that is because Christians know it is through Jesus Christ alone. There's this thing that really, I saw Oprah primarily talk about it years ago, about how all faiths lead to salvation. And that is not true at all. You see, why people hate Christians is because we are not inclusive in the sense of the word in the way in which the world thinks of it. People think inclusive means everybody can do whatever they want and it doesn't matter. But Christianity is exclusive. It is salvation through Jesus Christ alone. That is the only way to salvation. Jesus Christ says, I am the way. Not one way, not a way, not a way of many, the way. And salvation comes through Jesus Christ alone. So anyone who is ending a prayer to someone other than Jesus Christ is not leading you down the correct path. This man is someone that if you've followed from a Christian perspective, you really need to run from him as fast as possible. The Bible warns of wolves in sheep's clothing. This, to me, is a prime example of that. Now, I don't know the man personally. And like I said in the last video, he had a lot of good things that he said, at least from a political standpoint, in his prayer. But this is not a Christian prayer and was not to the Christian God. Because at the end of the day, remember, salvation is through Jesus Christ alone. That's it. Romans 10, 9, confess through the mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. That's it. Nothing added to that, nothing removed from that. It's faith in Jesus Christ alone. Faith plus nothing equals salvation. It equals redemption with God. Brahma can't save you. No other God can because there's only one God and Jesus is Lord. Friends, I hope this message encourages you. Christians, please continue to be a Berean. Please continue to fact check everybody and make sure that the people you are listening to are the right people. And at the end of the day, God gave you his word written down in the Bible for your benefit. Read it. Spend more time 
in the Word of God than listening to others, because God is directly talking to you in His Word. And last, Christian friends, please continue to be the salt to the earth. If you like the world, go encourage somebody else today because the world desperately, desperately needs it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.